picture guys got the suicide uh, you want a little bit of gap uh, the way I do the measurement is these stake pockets so as you can see if I scoot it this one a little bit where the stake pocket is it would have been fine same thing here I kind of messed up I didn't bring it so you're gonna get a gap like this big if you don't put it where the stake pocket is so I thought they were like this size so I saw how big it was and I kind of moved them over I should have just kept them but uh, here I did the it's off like this much you can see where the board is and where the stake pocket is but it is what it is it's not a big deal so I'm gonna show you guys how to secure it all right usually when you're uh, here at Steelscape Rancho when they're loading you you can take all this stuff off while they're doing that This is where I think I'm gonna use a steak bucket. Yeah, I like these. So, right here. This thing is not leaning this way, it's backwards. As you see, it's leaning. If you have it, if you have it the other way, see how it's standing straight up? So you know that it's backwards. So these, these, have to be pointing inwards like this, okay? And I usually wrap it. Okay, and when you tighten it, it's this, this bolt is gonna stop it from keep sliding forward. So always put it to where you're pulling it. Here. And then I usually just grab these, have these ready. Uh, why people hate suicides? Because you have to take out your whole head of crack, pretty much. <laughs> but... But I look at it as a positive. It's the one time you can organize your head of crack. What we need to do at Prime to get people to stop training is this stupid thing is where you take this, you go inside and hook it. Or you go through here, I've seen guys do it this way, and hook it. This training needs to stop. Uh, if, you need, if you need to go around a stake pocket, go around it, put this chain up, and go around it. That hook into a stick pocket training is, is the worst idea. I try to avoid stick pockets as much as I can. That's why I like this one. It was gonna go around it, so I just put a J hook. These are what these are for. I still don't know what is the right way on these. Some people say, I looked it up in the Secure Mint book, our green book. Um, It says you can't hook it. Like somebody said you can't hook it. But I didn't see anything on the book. So if anybody ever sees it, let me know. But this way, kind of stay. Okay, we're gonna J hook this. Okay. 
see how everything's around the spindle and then whatever is not I use a J hook okay so you're hooking it see how it's coming down so always where this is behind this and you're hooking it Hook it as high as you can, probably like right there. Can you see that? Okay. And then you're gonna take this and stretch it. And that might be too tight. So you're always gonna play with these links, but it doesn't. Uh, that's perfect. You see how that's just 45 coming down? This is where you want it. Okay. And what I usually do. Okay, so you see how that's the front one? I always put these hooks on this side of the passenger side um, to the right of them. And then on the other side is to the to the right of <laughs> the driver's side. So I'll show you guys. I'm better at like explaining. I'm more of a like a uh, show me learner, like show me how to do it instead of like, you know, telling me. I'm the same way about speaking too. Like I know what I want to say. Sometimes it doesn't come out. See, that's really good. Hooks. Okay, and you guys have it like this. So think of it, you're pulling it, this chain this way, right? So you're gonna hook it. I mean, put the chain around this spool going this way. If it's coming this way, you're gonna bring the chain through this spool. So it's doing like this and then you wrap it around. Same thing, hook it as high as you can. Okay, right there. I think it's gonna be a little looser because of the edge protection, but we'll see. Like that's good. Okay, that's tight, that's tight. Okay, so we need one more. Okay, so when you have these hooked, it's already, this is holding it down. It ain't gonna slide off. You might get one or two, but. This is the same idea as you would with, um, what do you call it, um, straps. You know how you guys throw the straps and you put in the winch and then you kind of make it loose and then you put your edge protectors on before you tighten it? It's the same idea. So if they show you that stupid bungee trick, doesn't work. If anything, it's a waste of time. But if you like it, okay. sometimes it does get stuck. in here make sure it's all the way in there and then one arm all right tight as you can ready one two three that and then you bang on it make sure it's i like to wrap this You get a load that's not tarped i would bungee those like stretch it out and bungee it since we're in tarp pit it's not going nowhere sit in here stick it in all the way lean it two hands Edge protectors don't move. Let me go to 
check it the other side. Okay. Sure it's sure it's tight for the stick pack. Or ninjas. See how much faster this is compared to a uh, ratchet? A lot faster. Okay, straight down. I'll show you guys how to unsnap these the safe way. Got always those clowns on social media. Talk about how dangerous these are. Not at all. Gotta make sure that's all the way in there. All the way like that. See how it is? Two hands. are heavy these are a uh, heavy duty tarps <laughs> uh, when I was getting this new truck I wanted the lighter weights uh, uh, what was I say so one of my blue tarps you guys watch my videos was done like it ripped at its seam it didn't rip the tarp I could have got sewed and fixed it, but I said for $150, they were gonna charge like $60 to sew it. So I said no. Okay. So what we're gonna do is you see how it is right now? So you're gonna bungee the front and then you'll take the back. I'll do it right now just so to show you guys. Just keep pulling this. You see how nice and nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch this first to the back. You guys will see, because then I can stretch the front. I always set it. The steering. Hook it where the hook's coming out. And I just pull on it. Ties like here. Okay. Watch the front. Okay. Same thing here. Grab this D ring. Stretch it. Okay. You'll see, it's still where it needs to be because I'll pull on it, okay?
again, there's a hundred ways to do this. A hundred. Not a hundred, but you know what I mean. Okay. What you can do is, it's a little too much. So what I'll do, just a little. So I'll loosen these up by two. And then I can tighten them again. That just gives me a little bit more pull. I just want a little bit. Okay, oh, perfect. That's where I want it. See where the J hook is? That's where you want this. Same thing here. Take all this, hold it in. Okay, here I take that, go in, the hook is in. Same thing here. Grab this excess tarp, pull it in. Come on. Okay. idea but it will work but it didn't about right there Get that under this one pull on it okay and then the excess tarps Take the excess from the flap. Oh, I can't. It's just too much tarp. It's killing me right now. 
God. It is killing me. Okay, here's the excess tarp, right? You take the last D-ring of it, put it in there, and then pull on it. Okay, what that does, it keeps this from ballooning because you're pulling it and pulling in two different directions. So you, the excess under here is getting pulled under, this is getting pulled this way. And then you're gonna take this, hook it up here, and then you're gonna wanna drape it. So I'm gonna probably put it under here. Like this, okay. Take this, fold it under. All you're gonna do is start hooking. Okay. Hungry. Tired now. Okay, stretch it. As tight as you can. So here. Okay, so the Superman cape. You're gonna hook it to the last spot right here. Throw it over. Watch it down. Okay. You're gonna put this in here. My eye is just a little swollen right now. Well, I got punched in the eye. We're almost done. It's a small Superman cape, but it's enough to do it. All the way through, just like you would do any shrimp load. Okay, tighten it down. Okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna find the last D ring or whatever you have. Right here. Gonna take that. You're gonna pull on it. Not too tight. Probably right there. Okay. Same thing here. Gonna pull it, fold it under. Pull it. See how that is? Nice and straight across the board. See that? Okay, pull on it. Okay, so D-ring or whatever you have, pull it straight across. That one's straight across. Okay, then you're gonna take this and fold it in. All this. Okay, stretch this out. Now the trick for me, is you see this last D-ring, I like to put this here. Okay. Okay. I'll keep this nice and even in there. Okay. You're gonna pull on this. You can go any which way, but 
Pull on it. Stretch it on back. Okay. So confused. That guy's telling me he only used snap binders. He's over there using a ratchet. Tight, but not too tight. Let's see about right there. Okay, that will hold it from flapping out. Okay. Okay. And so then here at the Superman cape, what I'll do is take this D ring. Get your cross. Then I'll take this one. Let's do it. Metal on plastic. Yep. This just kind of keeps it. Okay. I'm gonna pull it. And then I'm gonna show you. All right. What usually people do is I do is put tarps underneath it, but it should ride fine. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe.